This video is sponsored by Dubby Energy. Dubby is a clean energy drink that is designed to give you energy and focus without the crash or jitters like other energy drinks. Dubby has zero sugar, zero artificial colors, zero maltodextrin, and is gluten-free. What Dubby does have is vitamins, amino acids, nootropics, and caffeine from coffee fruit extract. It also comes in amazing custom flavors that you won't find anywhere else like Dub Sludge, Dragonade, Galaxy Grenade, and the caffeine-free Monkey Madness. I mean, my personal favorite is the Beach and Peach, and that's because I don't usually like peach. Use the referral link in the description below to get your first tub or try out the starter kit for just $14.49. Want to sweeten that deal? Use the promo code WILDTWILIGHT and get 10% off your order. Be better with Dubby Energy. Now, back to the video. Hello, denizens of the Twilight Realm, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, we just finished the casino part, and we're going to step in and see what the next part is. Hopefully, we're reaching the end game, but I legitimately do not know. Let's play. Wait, it's Dr. Oh, yeah, I've already seen this. Okay, uh, my bad, my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. All right, let's go to the next car. Ready to get going? Yes, sir, I am. Let's find Shadow. Oh, hello. Fancy the lounge car. Now is as good as time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk. I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as, as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I, no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Hey, come on. Be nice. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. That'll show her. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? The guy's a jerk. Well, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk, so let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Twilight. Ah, uh, yeah, this is fancy. Digging this aesthetic. Could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Ah, fine, you jerk. Wa All right, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Is there anything in here? Hello? Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Pull the string. Pull the string! Pull the string! That's a reference from the movie, Ed Wood. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. We have to see where this leads. It's curious. This must mean something big. Alrighty then. Wait. Wait, this is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. Wow, that hardly ever happens. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Ellipses. Ellipses. We need to add that to our inventory. How do you add a hidden passage to your inventory? It's, it's not even like a question of whether it's too big. It's, it's, it's negative space, man. 
trash can? Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, and you've been disappointed every time. Ellipses. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? Ellipses. There's always something in the trash bin. Sigh, ellipses. All right, let's check the trash bin. Ellipses. What's this? Yes, yes. Is it my time? Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? Ellipses. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumbled papers add to your inventory. Oh yeah, I finally got one. Ah, oh, Tails, you have to check this out. Hello? These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive there along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. This train went so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Ellipses? I just thought the same thing. Tell us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky. Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Hey, hey and there you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Uh, I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. What's this? Hmm. Keys. A key ring. Must be shadows. The locksmith. Interesting that there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring. After the end. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. Oh, yeah. Baby doll, that was spiritual. You said it, Bone Daddy. I feel reawakened. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. And an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. A robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola. Nope, not even listen to me. Uh, and I'm quite parched, too. I could run and get a ca uh, Chaos Cola for you. No, I'll, I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. All righty, then. If that is everything like you said it once was. Yep, looks like it. Let's interrogate him. Why did you come over here? I'm Shadow, Edgelord Extraordinaire. There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. We will certainly, we certainly will not. Start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. And every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train. And I know, and I know why. Ellipses? Ellipses. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Hehehe, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. Just do it already. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. 
This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Ellipses! So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all... Oh, excuse me. Then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! I think it... Twilight and I can explain the car change, however. Ellipses? What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Easy. The hidden passage. Ah, oh, man, come on. Oh, thank Jeebus. Oh, this is literally the hardest part of the game. I'm trying to find a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work. Hmm, this just adds my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic and locked the door in the conductor car on the way out and dropped off the body at the dining car. Ellipses. Are you officially accusing Sonic of murder? I mean, Shadow? I am. But of course, this is just a theory. A game theory! Because it's a theory. And we're playing a game. Uh, I uh, don't have every, any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh, seems Tail and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll hear me you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Um, well, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around with two people. Do you have any guesses? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Ellipses? SPL reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying! What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever... game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Ellipses. If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the door ne next to a force. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Uh, the key ring... That feels good. Now I get my thoughts in order! Crap! Ugh.
Oh, come on! Oh. No way! Oh, I have to do it again? Oh, do I have to? I don't like this. Oh, come on! Oh, oh, thank Jeebus. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key rig. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car. Then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Ellipses. She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I cer certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent of Sonic's murder? I think I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Ellipses! Just them, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every chain car, locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would she lock all the doors and not give us a key? Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you and I were started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. Ugh. Shadow wanted to keep us away. I think Shao was trying to keep Amy away. Ellipses. What? Excuse me? Shao would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ellipses. How dare. Show me some evidence. If Shao was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Tails thinks that Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Easy. Crumbled up paper. That feels right. So organize my thoughts. Oh! 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 I hate this. Oh, oh, the Jeebus! I barely made it! I barely made it! So you went rooting through the trash? Oh, please! I go through everyone's trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is ah, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't gotten any of to their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. 
They have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell it in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Xiao was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox! The situation is becoming, is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. Print out Hot Honey's band website. Hot Honey's band ticket website exists because Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. Ellipses, ellipses. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Ellipses. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier, and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I thought you were supposed to be the ultimate life form. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder... Spill everything, Shadow. Cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's, that's all a detective's job, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Word for my social status. I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. That is the appointment you keep speaking of, the time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten thorough through every door, locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your gesture's so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, I don't know if too late it's happening. Yeah, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Uh, ellipses, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shao was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. Next time.